Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again from Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, another reaction to Ha Chin Yu, as we continue on with his journey back on The Singer in 2018. I'm excited this is episode 12. We only have a couple more episodes to go, but I'm also eagerly anticipating his return to The Singer here in 2020, and we'll be reacting to those performances as well. This is I Am What I Am. Let's jump right in. I am what I am. Wow, this is so different than what we've seen in other songs. I mean, sure, there have been sections where he has presented a song in such a manner. I know we're just a few notes in, but this is giving me a jazz feeling of this song. The beautiful piano runs that are going on there. Beautifully sung just right in the middle of his chest voice. Standing right in the center of the stage here. So well received already. This song is beautiful and it's already touching me. The beautiful piano accompaniment I love, but I did listen to the original by Leslie Cheung. And I realize now after researching him just a bit, what a superstar he was and continues to be, especially in the Asian region of the world. Uh, I believe I saw a list that ranked him like third in international superstars ever with like the likes of Michael Jackson and Elvis and a number of other just huge names that we all know and love and appreciate for their artistry. He left our world way too soon in a tragic way, devastating his fans, friends, and family. And so the lyrics of this song really touched me because I really now know of the inner turmoil that artist was going through, even though this was such a huge song for him. And the lyrics are the exact opposite of someone going through depression. But that's oftentimes what we see with people that are going through depression is that we don't know the inner turmoil. His friends and family knew a bit about it, but I think his fans were kind of in the dark on that. So these lyrics are already getting to me. Beautiful. Watching you is singing this so well. I'm sorry to get this emotional, but I, you know, reading about the original artist, Leslie, again, um, I know that he struggled a lot with the media wanting to know about his sexuality. And that's something that is really hard for a lot of people that are not heterosexual in the world to deal with, especially when they're in the public eye like this. 
And I know he lived in Hong Kong, which I believe at the time was was pretty progressive. But I do know the struggle that uh, so many people go through. And it, this song just touches me so much when I think of that. And then seeing the beautiful job that Hua Chin Yu is doing of this particular song, just legitimately singing every note of this, but from his heart, from his soul, so well produced vocally, but, you know, just, I can only imagine why he chose this song. You know, he also now has several songs, you know, we, we, we reviewed Fake Monk and we saw the performance art that went on there, but then he did Ordinary Path, and then now we're to... I am what I am. And so the progression of these three songs and now knowing some of his newer releases that deal with uh, mental health and just dealing with what we go through in life uh, or that many of us go through, I'm just so touched and really drawn to watching you as an artist even more. <laughs> This is gorgeous. He's letting a lot of his vowels migrate a little brighter and forward than he sometimes normally does. And this is just a nice full sound from him. Beautifully produced. Just really nicely on the breath. And he's really just paying homage to this song and this artist, in my opinion, through this so far, because he is truly letting the song speak for itself. The beautiful lyrics. I mean, the lyrics are absolutely gorgeous in this song. And I believe that the original artist, Leslie Cheung, wrote the music, but there was a different lyricist, even though that is um, misstated in some of the things I've read, even on the singer Wikipedia page. Um, but still, gorgeous collaboration he did there to, for this song. And I'm really enjoying watching you's arrangement of it. Just so beautifully done and beautifully sung. <laughs> Beautiful. He is crescendoing through some of these held notes. Just so beautifully done. That is really due to his stellar breath control. Just getting louder as the note progresses. And it is just touching my heart today. Gorgeous, so well done. This is so well done, you guys. I love that more of the orchestra is coming in here to build this song dynamically and drive it toward such a beautiful ending that I know that Hua Chin Yu is going to do for us. I am so touched by this performance. I, I'm so thrilled to be seeing it today. I feel honored. <laughs> Ooh, 
That was so beautifully done by a superstar talent. I'm so excited to see what he's going to do on The Singer 2020. The performances, and I know we have a couple more to go in 2018, and we're going to get there, even though they'll be possibly during uh, the time that I'm reviewing his current performances on the show. I've become such a huge fan of him in just the past four and a half months. I can't thank whoever told me first about him enough. Um, and the singer in general, of course, Dimash is how I got to the singer. So also appreciate those deers out there and the Dimash fans. And I know the deers and the Martians, uh, are actually, uh, intersect a lot. There are several of us that love them both. And I am just so grateful to see so many of their performances and on this wonderful show. This competition program is unique in its character and so excellently produced. I've said that before, but the musicians, the uh, orchestra members, the singers, the backup singers when they're uh, in certain numbers, and then of course the stars that they bring in to uh, headline the show and compete against each other, which is an uh, you know that what makes it truly unique in my eyes. But such a wonderful, excellent performance by an expert performer. Thank you all so much for the support. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. It was heartfelt. Um, if you did, please click like and hit subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Also share on your social media if you enjoyed this or any of my other reactions. And otherwise, I hope you all just have a great day.